It's time to jump on your bike and head out for a ride. The Bike MS Coastal Challenge is this Saturday, and it's a great chance to raise awareness and money for multiple sclerosis. And here to tell us all about it is Joe Grubbs from the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. We want to welcome him, and uh, MS has really touched you personally. You were telling me you have it as well. Yeah, I was diagnosed uh, a little over seven years ago mm -hmm. with, uh, with multiple sclerosis, and I you know, quickly became a fundraiser, got involved mm -hmm. at the Walk MS events, and a little over a year ago, I started working for the society, and now I'm working with, with Bike MS. And you're not alone. I did a little research. I guess 2.3 million people worldwide yes. deal with MS, and the symptoms are kind of invisible. Visible. You may not know you have it. Yeah, it's one of those things where it could just be tingling and numbness in your mm -hmm. extremities. So that could be anything. A lot of people write stuff like that off. And mm -hmm. uh, but then it could be as severe as blindness and and paralysis. So there are sometimes more telltale signs. And a lot of people want to help. We've got the Coastal Challenge coming up. Yes. 800 cyclists yes. taking part, right? Yes. And we're shooting for a million dollars raised for uh, you know groundbreaking mm -hmm. research, essentially. And you can either do what a 30, 60, or 100 mile. Yes. Uh, ride, correct? Yes, and it's a one day loop, so you're going to start at the Rose Bowl, you're going to end at the Rose Bowl, everything's mm -hmm. going to happen there. How important is it to raise money for research for, for to help people dealing with MS? Uh, it, it's very important because, uh, you know, something we were talking about really briefly, uh, mm -hmm. 30 years ago there wasn't a ton of medicine out there. There wasn't, uh, you couldn't go to a doctor and really get a prescription for anything to make yourself feel better mm -hmm. to alleviate the symptoms of MS. And now because of uh, all the fundraising we do and all the money that we bring in, now uh, 30 years later we have, uh, we're about to have our 15th, uh, drug hit the market, which is exceptional. And that helps people live longer. Live um, longer, it reduces lives. the lesions, it reduces mm -hmm. the, uh, the relapses, and, and, and it, it does give people fuller lives. Mm -hmm. You're out there right now, you're watching, you like riding your bike. Yeah. You don't need to be an expert here to, to take part in this. No, you? not, not yeah. at all. This is the 30 mile route is nice and easy. It's, uh, I did it uh, for the first time a year and a half ago, and uh, I trained for like a month, and it was easy breezy. It wasn't that bad. And a lot of times you don't even have to train for a month. If you're an avid cyclist, you yeah. can just head out there. And, you can uh, get out there, come out mm -hmm. Saturday morning, uh, get registered, and uh, get on a bike and come out and support us. Now, the organization, right, started in 1980. Mm -hmm. And um, yes. over the years, have you seen a lot of change, at least in the time that you've been there? Uh, with the society itself or just in terms of the medication? Just in terms of uh, people affected by it, people joining yes. uh, the ride, yeah. wanting to be involved and the, helping out. There's so many causes out there. The community is definitely expanding, and I think uh, we're, we're doing a better job at kind of raising awareness, and I think that's mm -hmm. been the biggest thing. Because as you said, there's 2.3 million people worldwide, right. but that's not a huge portion of the worldwide population. Yeah. So we've been trying to get our word out, and I think people are starting to, to recognize that it's a, a worth, uh, worthwhile of course. And it affects you or your family, it's important to you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of Thank course. you so much. Much for being Thank here. you. Thanks for having me. And if you want some more information, the Bike MS Coastal Challenge, again, it's this Saturday, starts at the Rose Bowl, lots of parking there, and hundreds of cyclists will take part. For more information, you can go to our website uh, to make a donation as well. Go to kcal9.com, click Seen on TV. And I think Jeff